I do not understand anymore. I'm confused. I'm depressed. I'm frustrated. I do not understand anymore. I cannot fathom what the problem is. For 11 good years. 11 good years we've been going everywhere possible. And they keep saying, you are fine. Your husband is fine. You both are fine. Then what is the problem? What? And today, the same thing. You are fine. Your husband is fine. You both are fine. And yet, I cannot have my own child. I cannot carry my own child. Even just one or two. Okay, fine. One. Just one. I cannot have my own child. <laughs> I am as confused, just like you. Honestly, I do not know what next to do. Somehow I paused to wonder and I asked God, does it mean he doesn't want to bless us with the fruit of the womb? Does it mean that he doesn't want us to experience the joy and cry of a baby? in this house. You know, I do not know what to do. Did I offend anyone? There is nothing. There is nothing I have not taken into my system. All the concussions, the mistures, drugs, name them, everything I have taken into my system just to help my own child. Yet, no result, nothing. And then I ask, is it when I take a seed? That's, that, that's a, I will. I will see result. Is it when I take a seed? I will, I will see result. Ah! Honey, I want to ask you a question. And please, I want you to answer me the question. What is it? Are you possessed? Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Ah. Ozama. Uncle. You're here. Yes. Welcome. Uh where is everybody? Hope you're so lonely. <laughs> My mother and father, they traveled. They actually waited for you, but since you didn't come back early, they left. Eh? Uh -huh. Yes. For how long now? Uh, it's been three hours. Three hours? Oh, yes, three hours they left. But uncle, why did you not go? And auntie did not even go. Uh, are you the one talking like this? How can everybody travel to the city for a wedding? Because uh, your mother's sister's daughter. Eh? Then after all, they don't even know me. So why would I waste my time uh, uh, attending uh, uh, for a wedding that, that somebody that doesn't know that I exist? Huh? So, there's, no, there's no problem. Just continue your worship. Uh -huh. uh, but where's my wife? Auntie's at the back. Let me call her. <laughs> it's my father. Uh -huh. uh, it okay. seems like they've reached. Uh -huh. Hello? Papa, have you guys reached? Please, who are you? This is my... The owner of this phone. The phone you're calling me with is my father. What? My father? Accident! Chairman, yeah. Ozoma! 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 Yeah, I'm on 
chair. Ozoma, Ozoma, get up. Get up. What happened to Ozoma now? What is it? Ozoma? I was not talking to her when she received the call. And the right hand said, uh, my parents, accident. Did they say she collapsed? Hey, what is it? Ozoma. Hey, Ozoma. Ozoma, Ozoma stand up. She hey. came in. Mama, you're so funny. What's all this now? So you left the village to the city just to come here and start with your trouble of telling me when are you getting married? Is that not enough for me to come to the city? Yeah. Hey. You yeah. said I should come to the city and rest. Tell me what am I resting for? When my only son is in the city, resting? No, 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 no. My point of correction, I'm not wasting. I am working hard and I'm doing well. Okay? I'm working hard and I'm doing well. I'm really taking care of myself. I believe I'm taking care of you. No. If Papa was alive, I would still be taking care of him. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not at all. You are not doing everything you are supposed to do. You don't have a wife. Talk more of children. So tell me, what is it that you are doing without a family? Does it mean in this Asaba that you are living, you can't find a good woman to marry? Mama, I cannot. I cannot find anyone to marry in Asaba yet. Huh? I've not seen anyone to get married to. Not yet. I don't understand. How do you mean? How do you mean you can't get a good woman in this whole Asaba to get married? I'm not saying, I've not seen. When I see, I will let you know. Okay, if you're doubting what I'm, what I'm telling you, I'll prove it to you. Mama, Papa, I don't understand what you people are doing inside that grave. Oh, I don't understand. I sincerely don't understand. Look at me now. Oh, do you know more Nancy? No, do you, is this okay? What are you people doing inside here? Eh? Just look at me. Look at me and tell me. Okay, also, I'm everything is fine. You are okay alone in this world. No sister. No brother. No parents. Amami and Meluno, I don't know what I did to you people. You better come out of that grave and stay with me. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. Mama, especially you, is unfair. <laughs> Osama, what is it? Oh, you are still crying. No problem. I know what to do. Huh? I know exactly what to do. So that it will save you the steps from going to the stream to fetch water to take your bath. Uncle. Uncle what? Uncle what? Three hours ago, I saw you kneeling down beside your parents' grave crying. Now you are still sitting down here crying. Now let me tell you, crying from 19, 10 years time will never wake your parents up from the grave. Is this what you're telling me? Uncle, is this what you're telling me? Yes, I am trying to help you. So the best thing for you to do is to go out there and look for a man that will marry out of this compound instead of sitting down here crying. Uncle, Uncle, I'm your daughter. My parents just died and were buried just a few weeks ago. I am your late brother's daughter. This is not what you should be telling me. You're supposed to be consoling me, making me feel okay, not make me feel bad. Thank you. I like what you just said now. The prayer of every man is to, for her daughter to get married. That is the prayer of every man. And that is the prayer I am praying for you. That is the reason I am telling you this now. Also, I go out there and look for a man that will marry out of this company. I don't have money to continue feeding you. Can't you understand? Hey. Uh -uh. 
Never know Peche Mute. <laughs> That's why I like you. Eh? That's what you should have done since. Instead of staying here, Peche uh, 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 See, make sure you don't come back here without a manager. Even if that person is a white tap from Adolf Fisher. Or even a telephone, I will manage the person. Idiot. Let me see your legs here. Without a man. Idiot. Never know Peche Mute. Hello. What is the matter? Why find girl like you come to cry? Somebody break your heart. Hmm? Hi. Sorry. 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 Talk to me. Talk. Can you talk to me? Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Talk to me. Okay? What is this? Huh? Okay, I'm not going to hurt you, okay? Let's go inside so we can talk. Okay? See, I want you to just relax and, uh, you know, Talk, relax your mind, feel at home. Hmm. It's not proper now. How can your uncle be talking to you in that way? When you know that you are caught. See, was it this way when your, your parents were alive? No, he wasn't. He wasn't like this. He treated me very well. I'm even surprised that his attitude changed and his ways are beginning to force me to think that he has a hand in my parents' death. I'm not far from the truth. Seriously, you are not far from the truth. Oh. So, what, what, what do you intend to do now? I don't... I don't know. I just... What I have in mind is to go back home and face my cross. You know, carry everything that is happening to me. I... No, I... I will not agree to that. Okay. Uh, I would love you to stay here. Yeah, stay here. You hear me, safe? Well, go off your mind. So you can have room to think. I can actually make something for you to eat. I, I will not harm you, here is safe. But this is my house. Oh, please. What's on your face is like this? Eh, well, eh, Nani, I have not seen Ozioma since I came here. Did you send her anywhere? She went back to look for her husband. Uh, I don't understand. How do you mean by she went out to look for the husband? Did I speak a house or, or, or Yoruba? 
I said, Osama went out in search of her husband. What is so hard for you to understand? A simple language for that matter. I just want to know. Did you quarrel with her? I did not. I just came out here and saw her sitting down here crying, lamenting about the death of her parents. Eh? And I told her that sitting down here lamenting about your parents' death will not bring them back to life. So the best thing she should do is to go out there and get a husband that will marry her out of this compound. Because I don't have money to continue feeding her. It's okay. Well, um, she understood what I said and went out to do what I asked her to do. Thank God she's an intelligent girl. No, you have a point. Yes, you have a point. Thank you. But Nani, don't you think that this is too early to tell her such thing? Ah, she just lost her parents now. Eh? They said the earlier the better. Mm, the earlier the better. But Nani. Ah, 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 Mucha, what is it? Eh? What is your problem? Why are you drinking uh, 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 on another person's headache? What is it? See, before you came out here, I was here at JJ enjoying my drink. Now you, you just came out here to distract me. What is it? Get inside. I don't want to get angry. I say get inside. What's your problem? Sorry. Every time I'm thinking of something this level, you, you, you appear from nowhere to distract me. Come on, boys. Take a lot of food. I made it myself. Do you do you live here alone? I mean, where are your parents? Uh -huh. Yeah, I live here alone. Um, Okay, I am a big player. That's why I live here. My parents, they live in my community. So, why is your. Never mind. I don't even know why I wanted to ask that question. Thank you. You are a good man. Thank you. I am. I'm tired. Let me save this for later. Oh, no. Finish up your food. There's more in the kitchen. No, I'm, I'm okay. I just... Can I lie down on your bed? Sure, sure. Oh, you didn't eat the meat. I um, did. I took already. Let me just... I just need to rest my head a little. Okay. Have no problem. I'm fine. Okay. What about drinking? Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, I don't know why this woman always had my food late in the night. Eh? Amuche! Amuche! Nine. What's your problem? Are you not done cooking? Ah, it's just a many men before. For how many hours? Ah, sorry. I'm sorry. Let me... Get, 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 get ah, Uh -huh. uh, mm. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. I want to see Ozoma. You came to see Ozoma? Yes, Nai. Ozoma is not around. Wait, Amaka. See on your acting after Ozoma. Does it mean she's not in your house? No. For the past two days, now I've not seen Ozoma. And that's the reason why I came here to know if everything is all right. Um, let me cut the long story short. Uh, for past days now, Ozoma is not in this house. Hmm. He went out to search for her heart desire. Eh? Eh? In search of her heart desire? No, I don't understand you. You don't understand? Now, let me ask you. Ozoma is your best friend. Do you know any man she's seen in this village or even anywhere? Naima Nukwa. Ozoma, my friend, is a virgin. She's not seeing any man. 
more of having any boyfriend. Hey, she's still a veggie. That yes, means you follow her around. She's still a veggie. Yeah. Eh? That means you follow her wherever she goes to know if she's still a veggie or not. Okay? Anyway, like I said, Ozioma went out in search of her high desire. Eh? Man, get out. But now, Ozioma, my friend, is not like that. I said, get out. What are you doing here? Get out. Huh. Look at this one. What about it? I'm worried though. Eh? This thing is getting out of hand. Ozoma left this house for the past three days. Nobody knows her whereabouts, if she's alive or even uh, 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 dead. You remember the condition with which she left this house? See, now, if anything happens to that girl, people will start suspecting also. Oh! Oh! I don't know why some of you women are uh, 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 always afraid of nothing. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Uh, uh, what's your problem? Like, what was the meaning of what that man just said? Me, yeah, I don't understand. That Ozioma, my friend, went out in search of a hard design. Uh, uh. The Uzioma I know does not have anything to do with any man. And she's not told me anything about it. Like, something must be wrong somewhere. Yes. And her number is not also connecting. He's still saying switched off. What is this? Uh, uh, you know, the, you know, the, you know where she went to. Uh, I'm expecting her very soon. Someone will come back with, uh, uh, with her man, uh, her husband to be. Uh, stop disturbing me. Honestly, I, I, I don't like the way this thing is going. I, I have to be honest with you. Ah, uh, for for the past three days. Ah. Uh. Anyway, this is night. I don't have your time. If it is their time, I know what to tell you. Get my food, though. Bring my food, please. I tell God, beg you. God, please hear the poor orphan who has no one to speak for her, who has no one to fight for her. She's crying I'm for her. She's crying for help. She's crying for help. Anyone I this is four days now since you are here. And um, I think you need to wish for more. Okay? I know by now your uncle might have come down. Yeah, because I I don't want maybe something might happen to you and I will be in trouble. You're right. You're very correct. It's just that, I don't know, what if I go back home now and he begins maltreating me again? No, I, 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 I believe that he might have calmed down by now. Okay, and we cannot throw you out from your house, unless you decide to. understand. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the care you've shown me. You're welcome. I want you to calm down, okay? No amount of cry to bring you back into it. So, put them behind you and for the head. Okay? Thank you, Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you, Thank you. If you conclude the story again, come and tell me. I will. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, dear. I hope you. All right. 
Why are you giving me money? You've done oh, enough no. already. You need to buy something. Okay? Yeah, you do. Believe me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I will. I'll be. Thank you. Welcome, all right. Shall we? Yes. I hope you're enjoying your food. Yeah, woman. Why is it that time you sat with me? There must be one mistake or the other. Huh? Uh, what is it again? There's no sort in this family. Huh? Baby, I'm not getting any. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Ozoma, come here. Biaba. Biaba. For some days you left this house. And now you're coming back. Why is the man I asked you to, uh, to blend? Where are you coming from? Girls, Yoma. Are you not the one my husband is talking to? Where are you coming from? I want to see a friend. What friend is she talking about? Eh? I thought Amaka said she never visited their house. Man, why are you disturbing yourself? She said she went to see a friend. Okay, maybe very soon. Then she will bring that to her friend, maybe her husband to be. Eh? And we will see her. Eh? I told you what I told her that day that made her to walk out. Mm -hmm. eh? Very soon, uh, she will bring a positive result. In that case, no problem. Let's just keep up from my first. Hi! Oh, this is. Okay, I thought I told you sorry. Ah, you are still complaining. Why wouldn't I complain? Huh? When I told you before, did you come bring the sword? I'm huh? Sorry. Ah. Damn it, you can't bring the sword. I'm okay. sorry, 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 sorry. I'm not minding that you're still going through the pain of losing your family. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. My uncle said so many horrible things to me. Things that I can't even remember now. Oh, oh wait. Why didn't you come to my place? Rather than going to a man's place, what thing? A man that is not even related to you? Is a stranger at that? What if anything had happened to you? What would you have done? Amaka, I don't know. Sincerely, I was confused. I, I can't even remember how I ended up in his place. But he was really nice to me. Oh, really? I hope he didn't touch you or take advantage of you. Yeah. Uh, Amaka, I just remember that I have a whole lot to do. I'm going to see you later. Let me just see you Just like that? Amaka, is that is anything wrong with my question? Does it mean? Mm. Oh, I guess that. It can be. But why did she walk away? Make sure you get my food ready before I come back home. Do you hear me? I'm Uche. I'm talking to you. Ozoma. Ozoma. Hmm. What's wrong with you? You are here sleeping. This is what you do for the past weeks now. Huh? Anyway, that is by the way. Ozoma, this is two months and some weeks. I ask you to go out there and get a man. To come and marry you out of this compound. Up to now, I have not seen anybody. All you do is to lie down here, sleeping, wasting my food. See, I can't continue wasting my food, feeding you in this house. I am giving you two weeks to get a man. If I don't see anybody, if you don't bring any man here, <laughs> if you don't bring any man here, make sure you do what I ask you to do. Else. Uncle, else what? This is my father's house, and you will not send me away. And then the food you're complaining about you've been feeding me with. My father bought those food items two weeks before he died. 
So tell me, how, how have you been feeding me? How have you been feeding me, please? Uzoma. Yeah. Uzoma, am I the one you're talking to that man? Huh? I can see that you don't have respect again. Uncle, oh, cool, please, please, you brought about this disrespect. You did, you brought... Hmm. What is it? <laughs> Are you sick? No. Why are you calling me? Uh, Why are you calling me? Uh, what are we going to call this kind of thing again? Uh, uh, you heard what the doctor said. And this lab result you are holding proves that you are pregnant. The Uzoma, my friend, I know is no longer the Uzoma standing right here with me. And I asked you for the last time, who did this to you? Who got you pregnant? It's Udoka. Udoka. And who is Udoka? Udoka is the guy I met after I left the house. When I left the house after my uncle insulted me, he, he made love to me on the third day before I left just to say thank you. Jesus! Uzoma! I thought you were still a virgin! Not knowing that! Yes, yes, yes! I was still a virgin before we did what we did. Can you, can you just hear yourself? Can you hear yourself? Could you, so you couldn't see any other means to such, show appreciation to that guy? Other than giving him your pride. Uzoma, remember the other day I asked you if this guy took advantage of you because of your condition. But all you could do was to walk out of me, not knowing that you willingly gave it to him. Uzoma, you disappointed me. I know, I'm sorry, that's a pain. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop shouting, people that listen to me. Okay, okay. Now, you know your condition. In, in the family. What do you intend to do? I, I don't know. I love you. No, no, no. I need to yeah, see Maka, that guy I'm, myself. Maka, please, please. Where do you want to go to? Why are you even screaming? Please. I'll go and see him myself. Not the both of us. You want to see him yourself? What if he denies you? What will you do? Maka, I, I, he's a nice person. That's what I think. Hey, when I tell him, he will understand. I'll really? show him this. He's a nice guy and he took advantage of your condition. He's a nice guy. Stop crying. I don't like He's it. He's a nice guy. Let me see how that miracle will happen. You know what you have been passing through and now you went and got yourself into this. Eh? <laughs> what is it? Is it your uncle again? No, it's not my uncle. So tell me, what's the problem? Why are you making your face like that? What's going on with you? Hi. Hi. After the day you took my pride, I went, I went back home. Then I noticed that after some weeks, I've been feeling very, very weak and I sleep a lot. So, I went to the hospital today and the test I did says that I'm pregnant. I, I, you are, you are carrying my, my baby. Yes. Hey! <laughs> I know why. You're pregnant for me. Say bye bye to that your big uncle, that your wicked uncle. Tell him that he will not see you again. See, baby, this calls for celebration. I'm taking you out. I will spoil you today. Thank you. No, no, I, 
I should be the one saying thank you. Thank you for everything. No, I should be the one to say thank you for keeping the child, for telling me. See what will happen now, hmm? I want you to, I will, I will, after, after we go out now, come back. I will travel and go and see my parents. Tell them, tell them about this good news. Okay? And I want you to go to your your uncle and tell him that he should expect in laws. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you for accepting to do this with me. Thank you so much. Dino, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. How is the man body, madam? He's dead. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. He's a friend. No, no, in your house. No, no, in family members. I don't know. I need to. I don't know who to call. I don't... I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. I don't know. Hey, madam. How are we going to do now? Hey, madam. God, please hear the poor orphan who has no one to speak for her. Who has no one She's crying for help. She's crying for help. She's crying for help. Johnson, don't tell me you've finally chased Daggy or Joy away. And what if I did? What is your problem, Johnson? Are you some kind of possessed or something? Okay. Johnson, why is it so hard for you to stay with a woman? Since we became friends, I can count how many girls that have come into your life and they never lasted up to three months, you chased them away. I know the next thing you will say now, there is no decent girl in this city. Man, no one is perfect. Listen, it is not funny. It's not funny at all. The earlier you realize this, the better. Are you done talking? I am not done talking, Johnson. And we are not until you do the needful. Okay, good. I want to ask you one question. Go on. I'm listening. Okay. A lady prepares for work in the morning and leaves for work in the morning and comes back in the evening. And her salary is 25,000 naira. From that 25,000 naira she eats, she takes care of herself, she pays her house rent from there. How do you quantify that? How do you explain that? I, I don't understand you. You of all people should know that that is not possible. Listen, how can such a girl achieve those things with that little amount of salary of hers? It's not possible. 
You know, that particular question should go to that girl, Joy. I've asked her several times and the answer she gave me is not encouraging at all. I don't know how she make it. Do you understand? Because 25,000 naira is nothing. Hmm. You know, I don't, I don't get it because I've asked her several times and she cannot give me a concrete answer. And another thing is this, that girl never spent the night in my house. She comes to my house every day before 9 p.m. She's gone. Are you serious? Man, this is... This is confusing. This is... <laughs> confusing. So what do you think? I am suspecting that that girl is one of those girls that stands on the road in the night looking for men who take them home. Yeah, I guess you're right. Which is, in other words, prostitution. In our modern day world of uh, hookup. I don't know. Ah! I don't know. God, please hear the poor orphan who has no one to speak for her. Who has no one? She's crying for help. 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 You left this house with someone without telling anybody. Where are you coming from? You're crying. I'm pregnant. What? Eh, 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 eh. overheard that. Wait. I you are that. pregnant. Eh, Ozioma? I don't understand. Ah, man. What don't you understand? She just said she's pregnant. Oh, you don't know the meaning of I'm pregnant again. Come, Sekwale! I said it! When I saw her this morning for meeting, I suspected this. Ozioma, you are pregnant. Who got you pregnant? Eh? Auntie, he's dead. Osegeni. Wait. Ozioma, wait. Is this kind of a joke or what? Eh? You said you are pregnant. And you also tell her that the person that got you pregnant is dead. Are you okay? Wait, wait. Ozioma, calm down. Eh? It's not everything you joke about. And obviously not this one. I'm not joking. I found out that I'm pregnant. So I went to him this morning to tell him to tell him the news that I'm pregnant. He was happy. He now said, let's all go out and celebrate. On our way, I can't knock him down. Then we rushed to the hospital where they confirmed him dead. Hey! Yeah, Ozioma. Okay. Ozioma. Let me remind you in case if you have forgotten. Your parents went to the city for a wedding and you saw them off. On their way going, they had an accident and died. Today, you went to a boyfriend's house to tell, her, tell him that you are pregnant. And he decided to take you out for a celebration. On your way going, a car knocked him down and he died. Yeah, Are you a witch? Uncle, what kind of talk is that? What kind of question is that, please? Uh, uh, wait, wait, Ozioma. This boy or man that you said got you pregnant, who is he and where is he from? Auntie, I don't know. Hey! Auntie, I don't know. I don't know. I just met him a few weeks ago and I was about getting to get all these information before this incident happened. You don't know. You don't know. 
you see your life. You see how stupid and foolish you are. You allowed a man, you don't even know his parents, you don't even know where he came from to get you pregnant. Oh. Eh? Okay? Now listen to me. You better go and look for his parents and stay with them because this whole house will not accommodate us. Uncle, you lie. Are you listening to me? I'm saying that you lie. Huh? You lie, oh, you lie, you lie, you lie. You're the problem. You, 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 you're the me. problem. Yes, you're the problem. Because if it wasn't you pushing me around, I wouldn't have been in this condition. I wouldn't have been in this mess. I would have been okay. Do you remember what you said to me? The bad words you said to me when I was crying on my parents' grave? I was in deep sorrow. I was in bitterness. Reason I went out. But you see this pregnancy, I am not taking it out. All of us, everybody, will partake in the responsibility. You, 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 the both of you, everybody will partake in this pregnancy. The responsibility will all partake in it. Because I am not, and I'm not living here. Please excuse me, Uncle. Uncle, excuse Hey! I told Amaka her friend said she's still a virgin. Eh, hey, she's still a virgin. Maybe she has gotten this one from a drink of water. Or probably she wants to give that and that Jesus. Ha! Oh! Okay, Amaka! Oh, this is serious. So, this was all you went through yesterday? Sincerely, Amaka, I felt like the ground should open and swallow me. Huh, don't talk like that. The major problem now is that you don't even know where that guy comes from or knowing his people. See, even if I know all this, even if I have all these informations, it's of no use to me. Huh. So, what do you intend doing now? Do you want to abort the pregnancy? Never! Never, never, never! About what? I am carrying this pregnancy to full term and I will give birth to my child. About what? Hmm, yeah, I, I like your courage. Like, I like your courage, but how are you going to cope? How will you take care of yourself in this condition? I don't know, but I just believe I have everything sorted. Because all of them, you see all of them, they are going to partake in this responsibility. They will share in this responsibility because they put me into this. They put me into this thing. Yeah, Maka. Good day, Nai. Ozioma is your friend. Advise her to go and look for that man's people. I mean the idiot, the fool that put that nonsense in her womb. Let she stay with them. Because since she said the man is dead, this house, this one house, will not accommodate her at my family. Nai, <laughs> hey. calm down. I will talk to her. I promise I will talk to her. Talk to her? Talk to who? Me? You want to talk to me? Are you being serious right now? Why are you pleading? I don't get it. Listen to me. They are the reason I am in this predicament. They are the reason I'm in this condition. They are, they are false. See, you can never chase me out of my own father's compound. You will not do it. What is all this? It's either you die or I die, but you will die first. Did you hear her running her mouth? Telling me that I cannot do anything. Did you hear her running her mouth? Yeah. Ozoma, you had the call to talk to me like this. You have the call to talk to me. Look at you. You just you never had the day or whatever. Now you have the call to talk to me anyhow. Don't worry, I will deal with you. Ozo ma, ma, ma. I am still pleading. Please, I will talk to her. Why are you pleading? Why are you pleading? Please, just tell me why you are pleading. Did you hear her? She's still on her mouth. She's still on her mouth talking to me anyhow. Don't worry, we shall see. Ozoma, <laughs> Amaka. I promise I'll talk to her. Talk to her, uh, Amaka, talk to her. You are talking back at me. No problem. Okay. Don't worry, when the time comes, when the time comes, you will do what you do. You will see what you do. No problem. People please to rain. You know that he's the one that people don't like you. You know that. Why are you going to do what he said? She's not going to force me, but I just need you to stop saying that you plead with me. You know everything that I'm into. For peace to reign, you know that your uncle is not a nice person. Calm down. Hmm? I hear you. It's okay. 
Auntie, you're saying that I should listen to your husband, my uncle, and do what he's saying I should do. Azuma, it is for your own good. And that's because he loves you. He loves me? And are you saying he loves me? Okay. Let's assume I get to see Udoka's people. Who do I tell them that I am? Who? Let me ask you, please. You say your husband, my uncle, loves me. But in my father's house, I'm being, I'm being mistreated. He loves me, but... He actually makes me feel like a slave. He treats me like a slave in my own father's house. If he truly loves me, why is he treating his own late brother's child like this? <laughs> and so sincerely speaking, what your husband has for me is hatred. He hates me. That's the truth. Okay. Let me ask you. Listening. If you have this child in your father's house without a husband, do you think anyone will still marry you? Okay, paraventure a man comes for your hand in marriage and finds out that you already have a child in your father's house without a husband. Do you think he will still go on with that marriage? Auntie, please, any man that sees me like this and doesn't want me should just go. Ozioma. Fine. Fine. See what you advise I do. Good. I know you don't have money. And I've decided to help you. Mm -hmm. I will give you money. So you can go to any hospital or any good chemist around and remove this thing. Yes. Abortion. And is this the help? It, it, this is the help. <sighs> it's for your own good though. Sometimes, you see, sometimes I don't just really understand you. You called me to come to the village that I should rush and come for an urgent message. Now I'm here. For over 30 minutes now, you're not seeing anything. Talk to me now. What's going on? My son, don't worry. I will soon done cooking. Then you will eat. I'll tell you why I sent for Mama, you. Mama, tell me why you sent for me. I will eat later. Okay. I need to know how things doing in the city. Okay, if you insist. Tessie! 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 Tessie, this is the Alpha and the Omega. This, the man of the house. So greet my son. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. Mom? Uh, her name is Stacy. She's from our neighboring uh, community. She lives in the village. This is the girl I want you to marry. Her name is Stacy. Yes. And she's a village girl, right? Of course. And you want me to get married to her? Exactly. Oh, wow. Tessie, right? Yes, honey. Yeah. Tessie, um, please excuse me. Let me talk with my mother. Okay, honey. Mm -hmm. hey. Mama? Mama, Mama, what's the meaning of this now? What kind of embarrassment is this? Mama, you called me to come to the village for an urgent message. Only for me to come here 
and meet this. Mama, what's this now? What kind of embarrassment is this? How can you call a village girl for me to marry without my consent? Do I know her? Why are you fussing on me? What is, what is this now? Mama, I don't like this, oh. I don't like it at all. What is your problem? I have waited for so long for you to get married. You said you don't trust city girls. Now that I've brought one from the village, you are still complaining. What is your problem? Oh, oh, mama. On me? Uh-huh. Mama. Please. Please. I do not like this. Allow me to choose whom I want. Please. Young Uma, you must marry Tesu. And prepare to go and see her people. Just like that? Yes, like that. Oh, to a case and why? Oh, to a case and who's in Kiba as well. Egan, you know, Charlie, I think. Uncle, you sent for me. You said you need to talk. Sit down. Thank you. Um, Ozoma, my wife told me what she discussed with you this afternoon, and that is exactly the reason I called you. And what exactly is it about this nonsense? You should not be your academy in your room. That is what I'm talking about. Now, let me ask you if you give birth to this baby in this house, who will be taking care of you and the baby? Because I don't have money. Even if I have, I will not give you. Because I cannot train a child whose father is dead. Amanda, what will be my gift, my benefit? So, is this the reason you call me? I am not done yet. Now, take this money. Go to the hospital. Even if you, if it is a whack chemist, go there and remove this nonsense in your career. Go there and report it. I don't want to see you with this nonsense in your room. Take this money. I hear. Thank you. Uncle. So you have money to give to me to go and remove my baby. But you don't have money to take care of the baby when I give birth to the baby, right? Uncle, this is evil. You're giving me money to go and commit murder. That is it. <laughs> Uncle, you are very, very wicked. Huh? God is watching you. God is watching Ojoma, you. you are walking out on me. Ojoma, you are calling me evil. Huh? You say that I'm a wicked man. Come back here and tell me some money. I do what I ask you to do. <laughs> it's alright. I'll call you now. Here, here's the paper. We shall see. But look at this girl. <laughs> it's alright. We shall see. Where are you going to? Mama, I am going back to the city, of course. How do you mean you're going back? Of the arrangement to go and see Tessie's people. Mama, which arrangement? Yeah? That's what they do arrangement. How can you just push me like that to go and get married? Because I came to the village. Mama, don't do that. I don't like it. Yeah? And a village girl for that matter. Mama, even if I'm going to marry that girl, you have to allow me to think about it and get back to you. You don't just push me into getting married to whom I know nothing about. Come on. What is wrong with my son? Mama, please, I will, I will see you later. This is not ordinary. Mari, eh eh. You can imagine why my mother called me to come to the village. You can imagine. This woman called me just because she wanted to introduce me to one local village champion girl like that. Before we go on. Marry. 
can you imagine? One that shall never end. One village of Kukibo. Well, um, Johnson, you know, if you ask me, I don't see anything wrong in your mother finding a woman for you to marry. But what matters most is the woman having the qualities of what a man wants in a woman. Yes, there is nothing wrong. So what are you insinuating? Well, I am suggesting that uh, you give this girl a chance. I mean, give her a trial. You never can tell. She might have the qualities of what a man needs in a woman. In my own humble opinion. Yes. Give her a trial. See how we can have When you're talking rubbish. How? What kind of suggestion is this? Yeah, must, you, must, you, must you say that? What is your problem? Well, since you know that you weren't going to make use of my suggestion, so why then did you ask me to suggest Why you really have to make use of your suggestion? I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to you. Uh huh. Cheers, I'm one. Uh huh. How are you? How are you coming? Yes, I hope we will still remember the common meeting tomorrow evening. Uh, yes, there is a very important issue we need to discuss. Uh, yes. Ah. So please make sure you come early. It is a very important issue. Uh, so. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Uh, uncle, Uncle, the doctor has given me a birth date and I've not gotten anything. I've not, I've not put myself together, not even a cloth. I've not gotten anything at all. The doctor has given you a date? Yes. And you have not gotten anything? Yes. So all these things you are saying here now, how is it my business? Uncles, I just, I just need you to give me little money, you know, some money so that I can get baby items, gather one or two things, prepare myself for that day. I've not gotten anything at all. As your father or your husband, which one am I? Uncle, I, Uncle I'm, I'm your late brother's daughter. As such, I'm your daughter as well. You need to take care of me. Please, Uncle. A daughter who cannot listen to her father. All the things I've asked you to do for your own good, did you do it? Yeah? Did you do it? And you are here now telling me that uh, uh, you are my father. There's nothing like a father and daughter here. Get out of my sight. Please. Please, I know you are angry that I insulted you, but I said that you know the reason I said it. I'm sorry, it will, it will never ever repeat itself again. I will never say such a thing to you again. Just... It is already late when the head is off. You said I'm an evil man. And you want the evil man to give you evil money. Eh? I don't have money. In fact, I have money, but I will not give you. Hey. Stop shedding this your crocodile tears and, and get out of my sight. Hey, Uncle. Uncle Dirogwa Mao, please. I just need little money. I don't know what have I done to deserve this. Just money is all I'm asking. Have you even thought about how your late brother would feel if he sees you doing this to me? Oh, please, you can I? Then if your late father is seeing me or seeing what I am doing, let him come out and ask me to give you the money or let him give you the money himself. Huh? 
Uncle Let him give you the money by himself. Uncle, please. And stop disturbing me. Please, I'm just begging you. Just small money is all I'm begging you, please. I Uncle, said I don't Uncle. have money. I don't have money. Uncle, please. I'm still begging you. Just small money. I'm Lily, please. I'm not my niece, please. I'm begging you. Just small money is all I need. Please. Where's your If you don't want me to settle you with this thing, get up and get out of here. Get out of here. I will go. But just know that you are not my God. You are not my God. Oh. You are not my God. Then let that your God come out and give you the money. <laughs> the question I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the one that put this in your, in your, in your stomach. I know, man. Hey, Mama. Mama. Hey, 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 Still, your uncle refused to give you the money you asked him for. Yes, he refused. And I sincerely don't know why he has refused giving me a cobble. Not minding that they are the ones that pushed me into this condition. God, why is that man being so wicked? Why? Now, what are you going to do now? I don't know, Amaka. But all I know is that I am definitely going to find a way out. A way out of this, I will find. You know that, just don't worry. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Stop crying. Just give me a little time, I'm coming, yeah? Whatever you can buy with it, no matter how little, take care of yourself, Mori. Amaka, you didn't have to. Stop, Thanks. stop. No, but sincerely, you didn't have to do this. You did it's not okay. have to. I don't know why your uncle is just being so wicked to you. Sorry, stop crying. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Oh, calm down. Thanks, okay. okay. So sorry. So sorry. God, please hear the poor orphan who has no one to speak for her, who has no one to fight for her. She's crying for her. She's crying for help. She's crying for help. Calm down. Okay. Okay. Relax your mind. 
I'm calm. Okay. I'm calm. So how how's my friend? Congratulations. She just delivered a baby boy. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, my goodness. A baby boy. Yes. A baby boy. God, doctor, how how is my friend and the baby boy? My friend is your ma. Oh. She and the baby are perfectly okay. Oh my goodness. God, I thank you. Doctor, can I, doctor, wait, can, can I see them now? Um, not too late. The nurses will clean them up and once they are done, they will inform you. Okay, head on to them. God, I thank you. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hey, this is my baby boy. Why are you shouting my name like that? Hey God, Nai, the Lord has done it. Hey God. The Lord has done what? Nai, Uzuma has just given birth to a bouncing baby boy. Huh? A bouncing she... baby boy? Yes, Nai. Uzuma? She said I should go and bring the baby things. Hey, you are her best friend. Go to her room you, uh, you, uh, and look for it. Okay, Nai. Deliver the back to the river. This is serious. Go now, why are you telling me you have collected the back? Go now. Go. Why are you telling me? Taking that back to her. Uh, she just came here and said that Uzoma asked her co to come and take baby things. Baby things? I don't understand the man. You don't understand? Why are you always saying this? Everything you don't understand. Everything you don't understand. She said that Uzoma gave back to a fancy baby boy and she asked her to come and get the baby things. Eh? Hey! Uzoma gave back to a bouncy baby boy. Hi! Uzoma! That girl is a very strong girl. Hi, a bouncing baby boy, yo. Hi, my, I'm so happy. Hi, hi. You are happy. Eh, hey, I'm happy now. You are hi. happy. A baby boy, yo. A baby boy. Hi. <laughs> you are a fool. A bad man. You are a fool. Come and get out, get out, get out of this place. You are happy. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You don't know what is about to happen in this country. You are happy. You might get back to the baby boy. Enjoy. Hey, hey, With your wife. Please, sir. Mama, please come. Let me see. Come. Mama, come. Mama, they will be. What's the meaning of this now? Eh? What did you bring this girl to my house without telling me? Mama, I don't like it all. You said you were going to get back to me. So that we can go and see her people. And it's almost six months now I did not hear from you. So I decided to bring her myself. Maybe you have forgotten. I know your business now. There are a lot of things on your head. And another thing, you should stop saying my house, my house, my house. It is now our house. It's again. 
What did you just say? You and your wife's house. Mama, please stop this nonsense. I don't like it. I've not considered to make her my wife. Yes, I've not considered that yet. So please stop this. Stop this nonsense, please. I have seen her people. Mm. Yes, with some of our kinsmen. Okay. In fact, we have not shut their door. Mm. You've seen her people. Ah. You've also seen her ancestors mm. with the gods of our land. Okay? You will not let her. Yes, sir. Where are you going to? Eh? Nothing, sit down. I don't like it. Come and see a beautiful girl like you. Baby is doing well. So handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he's fine. He's doing really well and handsome. But I Please stop. But what? I told you, calm down. Everything will be fine. Maka, okay. how is everything going to be fine? How are things going to be fine in this present condition of mine? How am I going to take care of myself, my child, when my uncle and the wife hates me so much? I don't even know what I've done to deserve this hatred. And I'm still telling you to calm down. Everything will be fine. Nobody knows tomorrow. You know that. Nobody knows tomorrow. Meanwhile, you know, my brother that is a doctor in the city. He sent for me. He sent for me as I've gotten admission to the university. I should come over and stay with you. So I'll be leaving tomorrow. I'm back. I'm happy for you. I'm really happy for you sincerely. It's just that this village, I'm going to be alone. How am I going to handle all of this? It's going to be hell for me in this village. I'm back. I'm, back. I'm happy. I swear. I'm really happy for you. Stop. 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 You're not alone. And you know that. You have your son, Shidubim. You're not alone. Meanwhile, Take this. You can just take good care of yourself with it and your baby. Why you don't have to do this sincerely? You don't have to. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'll miss you. Stop. I'll miss you too, Mark. Stop now. Stop. It's okay. I'll be visiting you guys. I'll be coming to visit you. You're not alone. And be strong. Please. Thank you. No matter, I swear I'm happy. I'm happy oh, for you. You make me cry. Oh. Ozioma. Ozioma. I want to ask you a question. This thing, this thing, this baby, you get better. On whose name did you give better this baby? Who will be taking care of both of you? Huh? Because I don't have money. I don't want to take care of both of you. And who is asking for your money, uncle? Please, who is asking for your money? You've already said it, that you don't have money to take care of us. We're not complaining. I don't need your money. You're not God. Nobody is God except God. So just hold your money. We don't need it. Is that what you have to say? What else do you expect me to say? Now tell me what you want to hear from me. It's all right. I can see you have other plans. they are no problem. We shall see. But let me tell you. You see this thing? This thing will get better. I have told you a time without number. 
go and do for the parents of the idiot, the animal, the, 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 the fool that, 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 that impregnated you for this boy. Go and do for his parents and take this, boy, this son to, uh, to them to take care of. I don't have money to take care of you. Don't ask me for any food though, because I don't have. Even if I have, I will not give you. I've warned you. Take this boy to the, to, 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 to the father's brother to take care of him. If, or, 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 or better say, take care of both of you. I don't have money. I go you will die of hunger, both of you. I said my own. No problem. Stop doing this. Your mother has not eaten anything. I cannot breastfeed you now. Please. Just please. I'm not eating anything since yesterday. Just okay. keep quiet. Ah. What is the problem now? Huh? Why are you starving this child? Breastfeed him now. See. Please, you know how it is for a Muslim mother. I have not eaten since yesterday. I have not eaten since yesterday. That is the problem. I just need little food, even if it's two pieces of yam. Please just give me, not for anything, but for the sake of this child. That's all I want. Sorry now. Stop crying. I feel your pain. Honestly, eh? This thing you just said touched me. Oh, you know I don't have food in this house. I see. I saw you cooking an hour ago. It's just food I want. It's just food. It's not food. You don't have to move down now. It's not what I meant. What I meant is that the little food in this house is for your uncle. And you know him. He will soon be back. So please. I know. I just need two pieces of yam. That's all I want. Just that. Even if it's eating a pot, I will eat it like that. Please. Just bring that uncle's food in the plate and give me the pot. I'm good. So that I can breastfeed my child. Please. And she please. It's not a matter of please, Ozioma. Hi, Ozioma. For you know your uncle now. He would like me to scrape. He want to see me scrape the bottom pot to give to him. And so you see, I can't help him. And to be coney like he can want to say, Baba, please, let me just breastfeed him. I don't have strength. Just, just manage, eh? Manage, you won't die. Just give him the last meal that will come out. Eh? You won't die. This is what they call mother food. Eh? You don't know. Thank you. Go for it. Be cozy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God, please help me. I need you now. Please. Please, I'm not the first person to get pregnant in your father's house. Please, please, please. Sorry, sorry. Just be like this. It's okay. It's okay. Like this is good. Please don't cry. Please, don't. i 
one you are sitting down here looking like this, is there the problem? No, I have not seen Ozoma since morning. I've even gone to her room, my clothes have not been. Eh? Even her baby. <sighs> Maybe she has given what I've been telling her a second thought by going to look for the parents of the boy that impregnated her. Eh? Is that why you are, you are, you are, uh, your face is like this? My friend, go and, go and give me my food, I'm hungry. Eh, no, you wait. Eh, what if what you said is true? And she gets there and don't find him. Who will she then be? How is that your problem? Are you a drama? How is that your problem? Huh? Oh, God, give, me my, give, give me my food. Anyhow, you do it. Just get me my food. Huh? Hold your food. And uh, get me my, my, my hot drink. Hold your Hey. Where's the hot drink now? Here. Yeah. Hey. Now that you no longer have this house, can't go me to go. Governor, let them move to another man. Let she go there. If she's a man, she's a man. You don't know about business. 
A muche. God, please hear the poor orphan who has no one to speak for her, who has no one to fight for her. She's crying I'm for her. She's crying I'm for her. She's crying for her. Anyone I offended, please forgive me, please. Please forgive me. If I offended 
stay quiet and Please leave. forgive me, please don't. Leave it, we. Don't worry, I'm going to buy good food now and you will eat fine because we made a whole lot of money. Yeah? God, you are good. You are kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry, it's not a mess, but why am I in this condition? Why am I all alone with this child? Why am I here? Why why can't you just help me so I can be I can be able to feed this child you've given to me properly? Why? You gave me a happy child. You gave me a never smiling child. But why can't I do my best in feeding him properly? Why does he have to understand everything I'm going through? This is so sad. It is unfair. It is unfair. It is unfair. <laughs> If it is okay by you, Odi Gimma, Odi Kwamuma, Odi Gimma, Chineko, Odi Kwamuma, it's okay, it's okay. I'll go get you medicine. Stop crying, stop crying. It's okay. I know you. Let's go. I'll get food for you too. Sorry. Hey, please, sir. My baby, my baby is not feeling too well. Please, can I get medications for him? He, his body is hot and I, I think, I don't know. He's just feeling something. Fine, this one. Uh, thank you, I'm going to bring the money for you. No, no, this one is not okay. Fine, I'm not fine. I'm tired. I don't know what else to do. Flora, my husband and I, for 11 good years of our lives, 11 good years being married, we have, we have waited for a child. We have done everything possible, humanly possible, to get a child. I've taken all sorts of things into my system just to have it, just to conceive. We have begged God to please give us a good one, one, just one child. Let me feel that that's a love of being a mother. Let's have a child that can call us mommy, daddy. But all our efforts, they, they've yielded no result. I don't know what else to do. Like, I don't have tears to cry anymore. My tears are gone. 
okay. For 11 years. It's okay. You both look really soft. So, what do you intend to do? My husband and I, we are, we are proposing adoption. You know, just have a child around the house that at least when you're letting scatter things, you know, just call mommy, daddy. I, I want to feel. It's okay. You have a point with them. So how are you going to cope with the situation? I mean, with work and taking care of the child. We, we will just get a maid. We don't, we don't have a choice. So we have to get a maid to assist us, you know. And that's it. That'll be nice. I'll help you make some contact. If it works, I'll contact you. Thank you. Thank you, but one more thing, that my house, you know, we, we, we've moved out from that place. My husband got a new house, he bought a new house in shop. Are you serious? Why did you come this way? Thank you, let me go about a house. Now, I want you, I want a child. Don't worry. I want a child. I have tears, I don't have tears anymore. I've cried right. for 11 years, 11 years of my life. Back now, let me go and freshen up on the place kids. Uh-uh. Babe, I really missed you today. And I want you to come and make me feel like a woman. Yeah, hold on first. You know, I am just coming back from work. I have to go freshen up and eat before doing anything with you. Because climbing you is not an easy job. Wait, wait. You're not an East Coast person. You see, yeah, see yeah, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. A lot of things about you does not show that you need to care. There's a lot of things about you. Your attitude, the way you talk, the way you feel love, the way why you could jack up. Yeah? Who are you? I want to know who you really are. Because the way you behave is. It's not really, it's not really telling me the real thing. Huh? huh? I'm not... S excuse me. Tell me, what exactly are you hiding from me? Nothing. No, it seems you're hiding something. I don't know who you are. Because your attitude shows it all. I'm not... <sighs> okay, fine. I'm going to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Okay, okay, I'm listening. Okay. I'm actually not really, really a village girl. I won't clear. I'm not talking. I said it. Okay, go on, go on, I'm listening. I'm not really a village girl. Like, you know, I I was living in a weary. A weary! Yes, but then I decided to move back to the village. Oh, you left Oweri to the village. Why? It's a long story. I want to hear the story. Why? Tell me. I want to hear it. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> Baby, you see that Oweri? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a good place to stay, especially for young girls like me. That place is a very bad place. Mm. Hmm. The kind of lifestyle they live there. Very dirty lifestyle. Mm. I couldn't bear it. Mm. And you know what? My friends, the friends I had then. You see this girl say, Hey! They were snatching people's husbands up and down. And how many did you snatch? Do not snatch anybody. They are your friends now. These no. Are Babe, calm down. I'm the one explaining this thing to you now. Okay. Eh? I'm not like them. You see these girls, eh? You know what they call uh, um, runs? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what they were doing. And they wanted to influence me. Can you imagine? That means you're, you're, you're the holiest of them all. Exactly. Hey, wow. Now you, you get my point. See, I refuse to join them. 
I'm not that kind of person. I'm a very good girl from a Christian home. So I refuse to do it, what they It's were okay. Doing. It's okay. Stop explaining. I understand now. Can I fresh Eat food at least. Don't move Maybe. Let's try some styles on the couch. <laughs> I feel my name will be in that style before. Let me Actually, you said they didn't bless you. No, they did not. No, they didn't. It's like they put that influence there. Because we need that money, good you. I'm trying to satisfy my man. You can't tell me. I'm not trying to tell you now. You're my man. You're my man. Baby, I am unpayable right now. You can't tell me. I don't tell you. 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 A village girl. Ha! Do you know her before? <laughs> Wonders, they say. We never end. <laughs> Nobuna, what is, what's going on? Johnson. That girl. Tessie will know the Ekperi Mahobo. How? Did both of you know each other before now? Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to calm down. Calm down. Tessie is the same girl. I told you I was dating way back in Oweri before I moved down to Asana. Oh. She is the same girl I was planning to marry. Although I later brought her into my house to stay with me for some days. Not until information started coming in from my neighbors that she usually brings men into my house to sleep with them when I'm off to work. At first, I never believed my neighbors. One day, uh, my neighbors and I, we all planned it out. I pretended to have been traveling. Then I left the house. Uh, after an hour, I returned back to the house. I caught her red-handed with another man in my house. Hmm? Both of them were naked on my bed. You say love. Why would my mother put her only to marry? Why? That. Are you sure of 